Hello, I'm Dr. Greg McDonald. I'm a veterinarian in Southern California. My hospital is in Santa Barbara. I wanted to talk a little bit about dog care today and especially care of uh, the pads of the feet on a dog. Um, the pads of the feet are very similar to ours, except that uh, they have calluses on the pads, and those calluses are specially designed to protect your dog. Um, and so what happens uh, oftentimes uh, in the heat, or if people decide to take their dog for a walk in a rough area, they can tear those pads. And uh, what we have found over the years is that if you know you're going to be hiking with your dog, but your dog's been laying around all winter, you don't just start out on a long hike. You have to kind of build up the pads just the same as you would uh, with your own feet. If you're out uh, going to walk barefoot, you don't go, go a long way the first day. Uh, you start slowly and build the calluses up on your feet. Um, the other thing that we do sometimes see with dogs is that they may very well uh, uh, develop some real dry pads. Uh, dry pads happen in certain parts of the country. And actually, some dogs even have a special abnormal growth of the pads. The pads are really a corniferous type of uh, growth on the pads. Uh, and sometimes they overgrow in certain areas, and your veterinarian may need to trim those back. Uh, we do have several different products that can actually help. If your dog has overdone it, they've gone running, and you can see that one of the pads is torn. It, it looks a little bit like a blister on our feet if we got a new pair of shoes that don't fit. Uh, and that blister opens up so you have a little loose piece of skin and you can just clip the piece of skin off. It doesn't hurt the dog to do that, uh, but the underlying part might be very, very sore. Uh, the next thing that's very important is to clean it. If you take a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, even just some uh, regular water to rinse it off and try and get all of the sand and uh, debris off of the pad, um, and then uh, it would be good to use some hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and then the best thing is to leave it open, but if your dog is so sore that he can't walk, you may want to just put little socks, little booties on so that they can be a little more comfortable. Uh, your veterinarian could also send home some medication. Uh, we sometimes like to use a little Panalog, which has an antibiotic and anti-inflammatory as well as an antimycotic in it, and that can help to get the pads to heal a little quicker. It's very, very important that once the pad has been torn like that, that you uh, keep it from getting dirty again. And so if your dog does go outside, I'd put little booties on and the rest of the time keep them indoors, maybe for about a week until it's healed enough that it's not going to get infected. These are what the pads look like uh, on, a, on a dog. And you can see that they've got one, two, three, four, five as a big pad here. Dogs also have an extra pad that's up this area right up in here. It's an accessory carpal pad. And that's something that sometimes can also be torn if they're running on the beach and step on a rock funny.